in this video, let's go ahead and add the functionality to remove a card. So what we want to do is whenever we click on this remove button right here, then this card should disappear. Open up Atom. And the first thing that I want you to do is to open up index.js and then import. And we're going to import without from Lodash. And Lodash simply contains helper methods that allows us to work with arrays, objects, strings, and much more. And then after the component did mount, go ahead and create a function that simply removes a user. Simply say remove and then user, and this will receive the user to be removed. Now we can go ahead and use the without method, which returns an array. I'm going to call this variable users and this users will be without. So I'm just calling the without function. And then I have to pass the array to search through. And this will be the users from our state. So I'm going to say this dot state dot users. And then the actual user to be removed, which is user. So this user is this one right here. And this dot state dot users is this one right here. So just let me end that with a semicolon. And now I simply have to set my state by saying this dot set state and then I'm going to pass an object and then simply pass users. And remember, whenever we change the state, then react triggers a re render. Now we have to pass this function down to the user card list component. And to do so just scroll down to this user card list. And then we have to pass another property or another prop by simply naming it handle and then remove user. And this will be equal to this dot remove user. And because we lost the scope of this, we have to bind and then this. And if you don't like this syntax of binding this like so, we can use this awesome syntax from ES7, which allows us to place these two columns, which means the same thing. So I'm going to save this and now open up user card list. And before render, let's go ahead and create a function that simply removes a user. I'm going to say on and then remove user and this will receive user. And then we have to call the function that we passed through the main component. So to do so, I have to say this dot props and then dot handle remove user and simply pass user. And now we have to also pass this function down to this user card. To do so, let's go ahead and pass on remove user. So the name will actually be the same equals to and then this will be the this. So we're going to bind to this. And then I'm going to say this dot on remove user, just like so. And also I'm going to pass the user to be removed. So let me just say current user. And the current user will simply be user. So this is the user to be removed. And then this on remove is what we pass down to the user card. And this is simply the function that we pass, which is this one right here. And now open up usercard.js. And I'm going to create a function that allows me to remove the actual user. So I'm going to say on remove user. And you can see that I'm using the same uh, name for the functions because it's easy to read and it's consistent. So now what we want to do is simply call this dot props dot on remove user. And then the user that we want to remove, we also pass down through the props. So I'm going to say this dot and then props dot and then current user. And if I end up with a semicolon and one last thing now that we have to do is simply to add the on click event to this button right here. So this button right here. So to do so, simply scroll down. And you can see that right here, this is where the button is. And after the class name, simply say on and then click 
equals to, and then we will simply pass the function. So we have to bind to this, and I'm going to say this dot on remove user, just like so. And if I save this, and now let me go back to Chrome, and the application will re-render. Just let me inspect to make sure we have no errors. And we have errors, and the error is module not found. So we have an error where I've misspelled low dash. So just let me go back to index.js, scroll up, and this should be low dash. Save that, and let's go back. Just give you a second. And there we go, no errors. If I now click on this X button right here, you should see that it will be removed. So if I click, and you can see that it's working. So as I remove, you can see that every single card is getting removed. And also because the state is updating, you can see that this number right here is also changing because this is the length of the array. So whenever we remove an element from the array, that also gets reflected. This is it for this video. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask and I'll be more than happy to assist. In the meantime, join me in the next one. See ya.